I'm on like my fifth tub of ice cream? Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Oh wait, oh, so it did happen recently. Oh, you didn't answer my question. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're really going through it. Ah, that sucks, dude. I am, I'm so sorry. Big, big hugs for you. Big hugs for you. Arf. You'll be good. You'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, do it, do whatever you need to fucking feel better, dude. Like, honestly, you deserve it. You deserve to treat yourself as much as you like. Hallucinations, you will also see him as your sleep demon. Well, son of a bitch. Okay, well, this is the worst. Oh my god, dude. This is the worst <laughs> fucking timing that I've ever had for, like, a topic that I wanted to talk about. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I've also ate like two boxes of Cheez Its. Oh my god. <sighs> I was gonna talk about a wedding dress. <laughs> this wedding dress that has set TikTok ablaze. <laughs> so... Okay. Um. <sighs> you know what'll be cathartic? Laughing at some asshole on the internet. I, and that is what we are about to do. It'll be cathartic. You can fucking <laughs> spend all of that pent up energy on this. By the way, whenever I show something online, I just I just always have to make this fucking clarification. We are always observing from the outside. You guys are never, ever, ever to interact with the people I talk about it anyway. Okay? Good, good. Also live in the Texas part. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this wedding dress. Cause it's kind of a crazy Um <laughs> Kind of a crazy fucking slideshow. So basically there's uh this TikToker called the That Catholic Girl who um was becoming a he, she wanted to be like a modest christian bride i'm in a state that identifies as a county and the hood all in one <laughs> what state is that anxiety okay anyway so puv you've embraced christian modesty and your wedding was coming up but you hated the immodest wedding dress trend. You're on thin ice, but you know, whatever makes you feel empowered, makes you feel empowered. Do you rent? What are you, the CRA? <laughs> oh wait, no, that's Canada. I should make this joke a little bit more relatable. What are you, the IRS? Um, blue on gold on white. <laughs> gold needs to be a little darker. Gotcha, gotcha. Anyway, um, but you hated the immodest. <laughs> is the dress <laughs> is the dress golden, <laughs> golden white or black and blue? <laughs> okay. Anyway, sorry. So you know, whatever makes you feel comfortable in your own skin, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Whatever makes you feel empowered, you can dress that way. Whether that involves being a bit more modest or showing a bit more skin. And so... <laughs> so you designed your own dress and had it made for you. Which, to be honest, it's a, it's a pretty dress. She looks beautiful here. She looks so pretty. Uh, and on your big day, uh, you became a testament to the fact that modesty and beauty are compatible. compatible. I am very glad that you were able to find that intersect that makes you happy. And then we get to the last slide. 
<laughs> For there is nothing uglier than an immodest bride who leaves nothing to the imagination. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Looks like a ghost. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yo, Akari, I'm back. I got something funny I want to send you in DMs. Then do it. Just don't tell me. Just do it. Um, like you're fixing to be haunted. Yeah. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that kind of set people off. Understandably so. And so now basically the entirety of the app is just goofing on this content creator. Um, and then she made an apology video. That actually, I kind of want to watch with you guys. It's kind of funny. Just because of how much she, like, beats around the bush. It's kind of insane. Um, where did it go? Okay. Actually, never mind. We are going to watch this after the ad break. Yeah, we're going to watch this after the ad break. <laughs> Okay, so naturally people clowned on her, and this is her response. This is the thing we were trying to react to. I decided to address uh, she speaks so quietly. I'm going to turn down the music. I'll call it a little issue because it is just a huge misunderstanding. So apparently my little picture TikTok post broke TikTok. Yeah. That's a joke. But I didn't expect it to go viral the way it did. Nobody ever does. Um, By the way, that's the thing. Like, people post on TikTok just kind of thinking that they're posting into a void. That's a lie, actually. This entire this woman's entire thing is being, like, a Christian influencer. So, never mind. But something I noticed a lot is these TikToks that just blow up. And, like, the people who made them had no idea that any of, like, the consequences would ensue from them. Remember, you are not posting into a void. You are posting as if everybody in your life will see it. And then <laughs> cut to TikTok of me talking about my dick, dick and balls for like half an hour. The comment section was just women bashing me for being judgmental and shaming women who didn't dress the way I did. Because you were. <laughs> Nothing could be further from the truth. That's literally ex. That's word for word what you did. God, is there any way I can make this louder? I don't know if I can. I'll, um. Yeah, no, she speaks so quietly in this video. Ah! Okay, you know what? There's subtitles. We'll be fine. This is the picture that caused all the problem. I wrote We're just gonna turn off the music for now actually. Immodest bride who leaves nothing to the imagination. I got comments that said, why should I dress modestly so that people can imagine me naked? What I said to leave nothing to the imagination is an idiomatic expression. It's not literal. Idiomatic expression. <gasps> like, what the fuck are you talking about? You do not attach a literal meaning to the words used instead they have a figurative meaning other examples yeah we know we know leave nothing to the imagination we know that's a figurative uh component of speech we know you don't actually mean that the <laughs> wedding dresses are you know non-existent and that the brides are nude but you're you are implying that they are being, you are implying that it is a bad thing to, um, to have a fucking sexy wedding dress, to have an immodest wedding dress. Bros the yapper, she be yapping. Oh yeah, no, this video, it's seven minutes long. I don't know if we're going to watch all seven minutes, but, <laughs> um, yeah. It's crazy how long she goes on for about, like, what an idiom is. <laughs> Brides look smacking. We need to put them in a box and have them leap out at the groom for his complete 
appearance surprise. <laughs> God. If anybody ever uses looks maxing in my chat again, I'm banning them. Uh, but also, hi, Cosville. How's it going? <laughs> the dramatic expressions are expressions like, oh, to let the cat out of the bag, meaning to let the secret out, or it's raining cats and dogs. Yeah, we know. Which means it's raining heavily. It's not literally raining cats and dogs. Or to say, Clear, you've been look maxing for years, Okari. Okay. Something easy. It's easy. Aww. Really Aww. It's a piece of a cake. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> the argument is over once you pull out the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. <laughs> going good. I uh, hope tonight's treating you well. It's going all right. We're having fun. We're having some goofs, gaffs, laughs, chuckles, barks, etc. To leave nothing to the imagination means to show or describe almost all of the past. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts, guys. Something. It 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 doesn't mean it it doesn't mean you know to actually start imagining. Things. Yeah, we know that. We know that. <laughs> Also, by saying what I said on that picture slide, I was describing an extreme, a borderline, an extreme show of immodesty in such a way that the picture is just, it's shocking. Like, it leaves a shock value to whoever looks at it or hears about it. That's not what you said, though. If you wanted to talk about an extreme, you could have provided an example of an extreme. Instead, no, you said, for there is nothing uglier than an immodest bride who leaves nothing to the imagination. Huh? Oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> so Actually, can, can we play the... I'm going to play the audio. I need a stream deck. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> <laughs> or I need to make that a redeem so you guys can play that, like, just whenever, if you hate the thing that we're watching. Which, to be honest, most of the time we hate the thing that we're watching. So that would be a good addition. <laughs> that is what I was describing. I was painting an extreme picture of something. Yes. I'm aware of Matthew chapter 7 when our Lord said, Judge not so that thou may not be judged. But that verse is talking about, you know, judging people fairly in a way that we would also like to be judged. And I didn't judge anybody unfairly. You, s you called immodest brides ugly. That is what you said. <laughs> I didn't judge anybody unfairly. Yeah, you did. I didn't pronounce judgment on. Yes, anybody. you did. You called immodest brides call ugly. Anybody. Yeah, you I called out immodest brides. A picture of an extreme. She doesn't. She she literally does not like comprehend that she said anything wrong. She she thinks that everybody's issues are like just with the technicalities of, of what she's saying. When, no, you, you, the message is bad. <laughs> Just the message is bad. You're, you're, you're slut-shaming women on their wedding day. My post is not about judging It <laughs> literally is, is though. It literally is. Women, like, all good or bad. I'm just a simple Catholic lady who... Oh, my God. Look at that fucking comment ratio, dude. 20, <laughs> 20k lights. Uh, twenty eight point eight k comments, and then uh, three thousand seven hundred fifty saves. Probably for dipshits like me that just uh talk about people they don't know on the internet all day. <laughs> Sub to Akari. <laughs> uh, number one, apology invalid. She yapping. Number two, contradicted herself several times. Apology invalid. Number three, she hypocrite, calling other girls ugly. Okay, no, we don't do that. We do not make fun of people's looks. You only make fun of their actions. Who 
believes in modesty and who preaches modesty. People who accuse me of judging because to be honest, she she's really pretty. She really is judging by implying that there are women. What's the personal personality thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. No personality insufferable. Um. The personality of this person is insufferable, but I prefer to like make jokes about that rather than something that they don't have control over because everybody has control over their actions, but you know, they don't have control over their, over their looks. <laughs> she sure had fucking control over her wedding dress the way it turned out. Um, does she, does this only apply to brides in her point or does she expect people to wear jumpsuits swimming too? Probably. We could take a look at some of her content afterwards, actually. I'm down to do that. To my description of, of borderline immodesty. Border? I didn't what? say that. The people in the comments section did. People in the comments section implied... Uh, I wasn't intentionally commenting on her looks. She, she's an ugly person internally, IMO. That's just me. Uh, yeah, fair enough. It... Also, you know, it is hard to judge a stranger over the internet. So I do like to regulate everything and keep it kind of compartmentalized uh, into, you know, just these are the bad things that they did. And we're going to make fun of these bad things. And then, I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of dangerous to make assumptions like that. I feel like, I feel like that's how you become Nick is not green. <laughs> uh, especially as just like somebody who's doing commentary. So I it came out that way. You're fine. You're fine. Like that I was imposing my beliefs or my standards on other women. <laughs> you literally were, though. You said you hated the immodest bread bride trend, which, by the way, what the fuck is an immodest bride trend? People have been going fucking sleeveless and backless for years. I'm not backless though. I have so much back. Um, <laughs> and then you called immodest dresses ugly. You called the woman ugly. It's not true. I did no such thing. You did. I understand that <laughs> not everybody shares my beliefs. Oh, thank God, she understands that at the very least. Sees things the way I do. Not everybody has the same understanding that i have and so it's it is wrong it will be wrong for me to judge people with the same standards that i would judge myself with so having said that it doesn't mean that yeah she doesn't really she doesn't think that she did anything wrong because like probably i'm guessing like i know what i just said about assumptions but i'm guessing like she grew up catholic you know and uh, when you're in the Catholic Church, you're going to encounter, like, a lot of fucking sexism about, like, what women can and cannot do. So I assume a lot of that has been, like, internalized. Um, and now she doesn't think that she's doing anything wrong because she is just like, yeah, these are the standards that have been applied to me my whole life. I don't see anything wrong with them. She's making this from, this from a point of religion. Isn't one of the big tenets, thou shalt not judge? And then she literally talks about how she's judging people. Yeah, exactly. I mean, she she is making this from a point of religion. Her she <laughs> her username is literally that Catholic girl. On bride on her wedding day, who, I mean, whose dress is a little bit different from mine. It's ugly. That is not what I said at all. Yeah, that isn't that what you said. Describing an extreme case whereby everything is just out in full display Those yeah that's still a bad thing <laughs> that's still a bad thing it's still a bad thing because what somebody wants to wear on their wedding day is none of your fucking business <laughs> Say I have I'm gonna wear the sluttiest dress on my wedding day dress the way I did on their wedding day or who are not going to dress the way I did on my wedding day they are categorically wrong because I have not called out names I didn't make any pronouns what do you mean I was just painting 
the you, of an no, you don't have to call out names for you to judge like a group of people. You judged a group of people. <laughs> that being people who have, uh, you know, sort of revealing wedding dresses. I've got zero issue with religion except this type of religion. See, the thing, is, the thing with religion, um, in my opinion, as an atheist, so if I say anything wrong, please, please fucking correct me. Um, but in my experience, there's a lot of religious people who don't really treat religion as a philosophy or a way to live your life. Rather, they treat it as a community, which leads to like you know a you know a hierarchy and all of you know all of the abuse that happens in the Catholic Church and shit like that. And so that is why that's why I just have such a hard time with like um religious people like this because they don't understand that. Like, the Bible is an allegory about, like, how you're supposed to live your life. Basically, any religious text is not literally talking about Jesus and God and all of that. It is, it is supposed to be, like, somebody's philosophy on how they believe your life should be lived. You know, helping your fellow man. All that kind of, all that kind of stuff. Damn, Okari, slutty dress wearer confirmed. Watch out for the Catholic commenters. Oh, I'm sure I'll get so many. It's true. Like I said before, Christ was thou shalt not judge. It's not a cover for moral relativism, meaning it doesn't mean there is no longer right or wrong, good or bad. These are irrelevant. This is irrelevant. <laughs> there are degrees to how good something is or to how bad something yeah you is. called it the immodest wedding dress is bad oh my god i'm going insane means i'm going fucking insane considerate and lenient when speaking about the faults of others it doesn't say we should approve of these faults and then you're literally you're literally calling it a fault when it's not that see this is what she's not understanding it is not wrong to want a slutty wedding dress Part was people saying, Oh, our Lord Jesus Christ would never judge anybody, would never condemn anybody. You didn't read the Bible. In the Bible, Jesus hung out with sex workers. Je no, that was his entire thing. Jesus' entire thing was that he loved and hung out with everybody. Bible, our Lord literally called the Pharisees. A generation of vipers call them serpents. He even called okay, them. I don't know what the Pharisees are, but <laughs> I mean, what, what, what judgments could be worse than that? And he was right in his judgment. He was absolutely right because that's what they were. Those who who said my dress was ugly and that my um way that my that the way I dress is ugly. That's fine. I mean, that's your opinion. Okay, it's dude. If you're gonna call other people's wedding dresses ugly, like, you deserve to have your dress called ugly. I'll, I'm like, come on. Don't. <laughs> if she's about to, like, pull a pity party, I swear to God. Um. I don't think I actually I I did I don't think I got this far when I watched this video for the first time. So this is all kind of new for me. I just don't understand why folks have to butt in and try and ruin people's happiness. If you love your body and want to show it off to a degree on your wedding, I think that's a positive thing. Exactly, exactly. It's great. Some other people think it is nice and I'm not annoyed about that at all. That's fair game. Okay, thank God. To have thank God. About what is good what they like and what is ugly so that's fine you don't have to like the way i dress and i don't have to like what is extreme no you don't have to you don't have to like what is extreme <laughs> you just have to respect other women's choices that post to encourage girls future brides who want to dress modestly on their wedding day to do so that was why I made that post. Like, 
You have options. No, no, you and made it to drag space. people who didn't it's wear modest wedding dresses. Option. And there is nothing <laughs> wrong with that. I also want to say welcome to my new followers. Okay, yeah, so she just goes on about the new followers. Anyway, so yeah, that is a yapping sesh if I've ever heard one. Fucking turn on the music again. There we go. Whew. Yeah, that was a lot of ground that she covered. I'm just trying to play hell it loose and she's yapping. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> um, yeah. So that fucking sucked. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't, she just doesn't believe that she did anything wrong in the first place. So she doesn't have like any ability to introspect and like look at herself and be like, okay, maybe I'm in the wrong for shaming other women for uh, having the wedding dresses that they want. Because that is what she did. She's just denying that that's what she did. Worse than the ukulele apology, at least that one's entertaining. Oh, 100%. I will take an entertaining apology over a genuine apology any day of the week. Oh, uh, yeah. So, anyway, to conclude about the bride, um, what the fuck? What the fuck? That was kind of a, yeah, kind of a crazy... It's not really an apology video, though, either. She just kind of explained her thought process, and we got to, like, peer into her mind a little. Uh, she, she gave her thought process and, it, process, and it made everything worse. Yeah, it just kind of proved what we already suspected about her. Like, she, she literally doesn't think that she did anything wrong. And yeah, like I said, those are probably the standards that were applied to her growing up, so she doesn't really see anything wrong with those standards. She thinks that it's normal.